a Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at censorship and how we can go about blurring out um, an ugly individual in a video kit clip just like this one and also track their face and it's actually really easy inside of Final Cut Pro 10 so um, let's go ahead and get started. We just zoom in here command plus I will be blurring out uh, Tony's face. Uh, this clip is from the behind the scenes of Husky which will be out very shortly and you can see we just uh, click on this clip and then we sorry pardon me if we just have a look at the effects browser you can see that if we go to stylize you can see there is a sensor clip and that will give us a little preview showing us that we can get a pixelated effect so we just drag that onto our clip and then you can see we've got a nice position handle and we can just put it on his face. If we uh, drag this down and across, just so we can optimize our screen for viewing. And then you can see if we scrub along here, well, we're going to move this, and if we can, we can even grab the outer ring and scale it up, just like that. And now you can see in the uh, inspector, if you can't see that, remember click on the eye. You can see that we've got a few options here. And the main one we want to focus on is the center. And the reason we want to focus on the center is because obviously after a few frames, it's going to move off his face completely. You can see we can now actually see his face there. Um, so one of the main um, tasks involved in censorship is tracking. Now there is no built-in uh, motion tracking inside of Final Cut, there is in motion and if you'd like to know how to do this in motion so you can track people's faces and you don't have to do anything then let me know and I'll do a tutorial for that. Um, so what we have to do is do it by hand. Now a couple of pointers. First of all identify the key points of movement. For instance we can say that this is a key point of movement uh, because it's nearly the first frame so we can press add keyframe then we want to look for the next main point to where it's going to move you can see it heads upwards the clip heads upwards and then back down so we can say that that up point is what I would say is a key point of movement and then we'd add a keyframe uh, by clicking on this button here make sure you check out my keyframing tutorial and then we uh, scrub through you can see and you just want to wait until it's going to go out of frame what you could even do obviously is if we go back to here and add a keyframe to the radius and then go through to here add another keyframe for the radius and scale that down Make sure we keyframe the position before it comes off his face, which is here. And then we want to make sure he's covered up. Uh, the reason he's punching the air is because that was Tony's last day of filming for Husky, and we essentially have been filming for about six months. Well, over six months. I wouldn't say we've been filming for six months. <clears throat> because we haven't. And then we want to add another keyframe. Make sure you press add a keyframe before you make any adjustments or else it will make the adjustment to the keyframe prior um, to the, your position in the scene. Okay. And that's a, just a nice little short example. You can see there's a few issues here. But make sure you go through, spend some time doing this, depending on how badly censored you want it. But obviously, like I said, make sure you identify the key points of movement. Uh, that will save you having to add a keyframe like every couple of frames. You can literally just. Oh, 
there you go, you can see it's now animating. It's clearly not perfect. Um, but just go through, have a play around. Obviously there is a slider here for how pixelated you want it. You might be like, that's a cool effect, but bear in mind that there is actually, um, under the looks panel, there is actually a pixelate somewhere. Maybe it's not under looks. We go here. You can see there is a pixelate effect that works on the whole footage rather than just an area like the sensor bar. Um, but go through, have a play around with the animation. I think there's a lot to improve on in the keyframe animating inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Um, but this is how you add censorship to your videos. Um, so if you're filming a documentary and you realize there's loads of people's number plates going through, uh, you don't want people complaining saying that their car's in a video without your permission, so just go through and animate some censorship bars over the number plates. And you can even change it to a blur if you think that looks neater, and especially for number plates I do think that looks neater. And you, or you can darken it and that's just where you get like a black blob. Um, but thank you very much for watching, hopefully this was useful, and I am going to Berlin uh, this week, so I will be back next weekend with, hopefully, a trailer for Husky, the penultimate behind the scenes for Husky that you can see here, and a couple of brand new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. I've been very busy the last few months, but I hope to get back on the uh, Final Cut wagon, as it were, very soon. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very, very much for watching, and spread the word. Of, about my YouTube channel, that is.